Hello everybody and welcome back to Transport Fever. Oh, Windmill Fever. <laughs> yeah, I've got some windmills. I said I, got, I said I would put some in. Um, hopefully my audio is a lot better now as well. Um, I've done some test recordings and I've got the volume, I've got the microphone volume uh, boosted. Um, so I'm hoping there isn't going to be too many distortions. Um, I've I've not done a great deal, but I, I, I've just carried on with some of these farming, get some of this farm area built. I've put some cattle and some horses, uh, some sheep in this field here, some cattle up here. Um, I've done the continued with these orchard type things. I'm going to put a few buildings in here and there, uh, a few little houses around the place. I've got another windmill, I've put a house next to each of the windmills as well. I love these, these rice. <laughs> another one up here. I've tried not to go too mad with them. <laughs> I didn't want them on every corner. But uh, I put a few in. I've done some over here as well. I've popped a church in here and made a little village. So I've got a little church, the old wooden one, Russian one. A little windmill there. A few houses and a few shops. A couple of little windmills close to the track so we can see them as you come by on the train. Nah, the house is floating a little bit. I need to disguise that. <laughs> Yeah, I've got this farm filled in a bit more, I've done a, like an orchard here again, uh, put some buildings in and around, a couple of little windmills, frame rate's going a bit now, <laughs> yeah a couple of windmills here, uh, what else did I do, oh yeah I put a lake in the golf course, <laughs> I just wanted to see what it looked like, see if it fit, I think I might put a few more little ones in and around these woody areas just to sort of break it up a little bit. Auto safe kicks in. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, a bit more farming done. We're going to have a short episode today. <laughs> um, I have upgraded the trains. Um, yes. Let me bring the thing back up. We've gone forward quite a bit. Um, I did do a recording and my computer messed it up. Uh, it was uh, the file got corrupted somehow. Um, yeah, and it was just I couldn't really save it. It would have been edited and quite a bit out of it, and then re-recording the audio over the top. And it's like, yeah, whatever, I scrapped it. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna start again. Um, well, we've got some new trains. Uh, we've got a new passenger train and we've got a new goods train as well. They are... If we go back to the depot... This is where my computer will start going slow again. Definitely having some issues with my hard drive. I'm definitely going to have to invest in a new hard drive soon. Um, it was playing a lot better than this before and then... Just recently, it's been getting a lot worse. But uh, I'll sort that out. I'll get that sorted at some point soon. I've got a bit of spare cash and I can afford to buy a decent hard drive. It's going to take me a little while. Well, it's going to take quite a while to transfer all my files over. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, do, do, do. These are the freight ones. Uh, the 280s. These are the ones we've got running. Um, the 260, they've got loads of power, loads of attractive effort, really powerful and these are the passenger trains, the star class uh, so yeah we've got them on as well had this come in, it's a little bit slower, not as powerful but a lot cheaper to run but we're not bothered about the money, I've let the money climb back up a bit as I've run forward the reason I've gone forward mo mostly is because I've been trying to sort the uh, goods lines out and try to balance all the goods and I wanted to get past 1910 so that I could get the trucks on the road because everything was backing up at the truck stops 
So we've got 127 fuel waiting there, and there's loads of trucks on here now. I see the logo on them. <laughs> there's a good train coming in. There's a great spot up here for a bit of train spotting. <laughs> you get to see loads go past. I'm going to do some decorating around here soon. I haven't decided what yet. I might just do a big sidings or something up here. Big railway sidings and some sheds and things. Yeah, I think that'll be a... That'd be a good idea in that area there. Still need to put some blockers in here and sort of limit the the, the growth on this side. Um, Wensbury and Hambly are near enough joined up. They've almost met up here. There's just a little gap in between them two now. Oh, we've got a, we're gonna have a nice. I the roads so bumpy, <laughs> otherwise I'd ride the uh, trams. <laughs> Shame about these catenary, I don't I hate these <laughs> wires over all the streets. Yeah, I forgot to upgrade the um, lakeside trams last time, so I've done them as well. There's a little tram route running around here. Probably not a lot of passengers at the moment. <coughs> there are at the other. Oh, coming a bit slow again. There are sort of picking up down here and see he's full. You can actually add extra, extra carriages to these, but they only carry three. I don't really see the point, especially as I've only got um, these little stations as well. Buses in there. I've got the mod for the uh, the route master, the London bus, so we'll get them in a few years. Looking forward to them. <laughs> They're great. Not available yet though, so I can't show you just yet. So oh, yeah, got a, a little bit of a village. Um, started off some of the farms along this end. <clears throat> I'm going to carry this around here. Put a few more in at the back. Um, carry this on around here maybe bring it down in and fill this area in before we get to the beaches and uh, start on the caravans and stuff but still got all that to do yet I've left this area open so the AI can expand into here um, it's still got a bit of expansion room around here yet and it can expand out of this way um, I might actually take this back a little bit, give it a bit more room. Well, it should be all right. That and these should start pushing out. It's already started making some plans here. I haven't done this. The AI has done this, so hopefully we we'll start seeing some houses on here soon. What you got on board? Are you full? Not quite. Near enough got a full load though. That's good. They were coming in empty for a while because everything was backing up at the uh, truck stops. And it was having a knock on effect on the industry so things stopped producing. That's why I was I had to run it forward ages so I could upgrade the trains and retired a couple and added a couple to some of the lines. We have got a bit of queuing going on. Um, no, it's not down here, it's up at the other end. This one here. I'm going to move the signals a bit so that the trains can queue up better. Because uh, the signals were sort of set for the shorter trains, really. <coughs> I do apologise, excuse me. Yeah, I'm not really bothered about that. <laughs> He's keeping the goods moving, that's the main thing. Okay, stack up here a lot. I've noticed with these two as well, um, goods transfer A must be a bit quicker on the way back because that gets most of the goods. I wish I'd balance it out. 
but it doesn't A, a gets much more priority over the B so B often runs half full while there's stuff quite a lot of stuff backed up at A and they're just going round and round but I don't want to take one line off and just concentrate on one side because then we'll end up with loads of queuing again Yo. Killing the frame rate again. It's definitely my hard drive. I can hear it rattling away in the background. Every time the frame rate goes, my hard drive starts. <laughs> Noisier than the trains. <laughs> so, yes, I shall get that sorted out soon. And, uh, it should make for a lot smoother video, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, because I've definitely played on a lot further than this on bigger maps, and it's been fine. You know, I've had sort of maps more than twice the size of this, with a lot more cities on. And I've got into the mid-1900s, late 1900s, before I've had a, too many issues. You could probably hear my dog a lot clearer as well now. You alright there, mate? <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Try to record a video with you. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway. <laughs> I'm not doing any more tonight. <laughs> I've just been sort of plotted, pottering, pottering around and adding a few bits and pieces here and there while I was sort of half watching the football. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got a new church down here as well. Slap the church, slap that cathedral right in here. Seems to fit quite nicely. I didn't, I didn't put a graveyard around it, I might do that later. I blocked all this anyway, so there's no AI going to build here. And yeah, some nice big buildings now. City centres. Traffic doesn't seem to be too much of an issue yet. Um, even on the busy roads, like this main road down here because there's so many trams going up and down here it's alleviating a lot of the traffic if you've got heavy traffic jams then stick loads of trams on them it will cut down the routes and uh, like I say it's always good to put the large streets in where you're going to have your busiest roads um, because your buses and your delivery trucks will use the tram tracks as well so they can get through the traffic jams easier. Sure. Yeah, frame rate's gone again. It's alright, yes. I'm going to call it a night. It took me a couple of hours just to do all that. Now what time are we on? Nine o'clock, I've been at that since about six, quarter past six, yeah, so it's been about two and a half hours work, just just in doing those little bits and pieces. <clears throat> that's, it. that's why I didn't want to do it on a live build. <laughs> for one, I can't talk for two and a half hours, and for two, I'm sure everybody would be bored long before the end of it, so yeah, and it's best if I just show you what I've done, <laughs> especially as my frame rate's going as well. Okay, start on the farm, so I'm going to get some more done. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to carry this on. Start getting it down here. I want to build a little village in here. Um, I want to get these farms finished off. Get all this side in. Maybe put a few down here as well. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, I probably will do. Probably fill this area in the farmland and stuff. And then get the big industrial area built over here. And then on with the beaches. Get the caravans in then. Still too early for them yet. <laughs> right. Thank you very much again for watching. Um, and I shall be back, back very soon with another episode. Uh, hopefully get quite a bit more done. I haven't got a great deal. Like I say, I haven't got a great deal of time on it at the moment. So I'm just doing sort of as much as I can at a, at a time. Um, but we're getting through it we're getting through it bit by bit I can't wait to get it all done but yeah 
whilst my computer's having problems, like, you know, that is slowing me down a lot as well. So, once I get a new hard drive, I'm pretty sure that's going to solve the problem and um, it'll make things a lot smoother, make the videos a lot better so we can ride the trains more and go and have a look around. Um, yeah, we've got a train coming up here anyway. We'll leave you with a passing window shot that's not too stuttery. There's one. Give me the train. There we go. There's a windmill. <laughs> there I so look. I think I've said that about two or three times already. <laughs> just about to see the other one there, just in the corner. Right, so yes, thank you very much again for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Good night.